Hey, this is Lee Gerstman. I got a record review for you. I didn't really want to do a record review today, but I was looking at comments on Rock and Metal Combat podcast, and I was like, they were talking about Kiss's Psycho Circus. I was drinking. I was like staying on my rug. I mean, on the floor, just having a good time, and I was thinking. Fuck! A lot of these people, they don't really understand that album. They think that it's a good album, or this song's good, that song's good. Fuck that shit. I mean, yeah, there's a couple of good songs on it, but it's not the songs that everybody likes. And I have to put you fucking straight. You know, this is like one of those things where it's like, I am sick and fucking tired of reading reviews of Psycho Circus that are like, Oh, this is a good song. Peter isn't on it, but I like the drumming. Or whatever the fuck you want to say. Okay, just because you hate the Peter Chris song, which a lot of people hate, which I do too, that doesn't fucking mean you have to like any of the others. Well, it does mean that you should like the ones that I like, but a lot of people are deluded. They don't fucking know what to like and dislike on this album. I didn't even hear it over again in order to do this with you. I'm just going to go over my thoughts on it. I'm not even like having notes or anything like that shit. I'm just giving you my opinion. Okay, well, I have to tell you that when... I got Psycho Circus when it first came out. I was hoping that maybe it might be kind of a cool album because, you know, Ace and Peter are on it and all that. And when I heard it, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, this is shitty. I was like, what the hell did I pay this money for? Damn. Well, anyway, Psycho Circus, that's like... Do you know, like, the Paul songs like King of the Mountain or I've Had Enough Into the Fire and all those stupid epic pieces of bullshit that are supposed to be heavy, but they're really not? They aren't like Room Service. They aren't like Lover All I Can. They're like this stupid serious shit that's supposed to be kind of like this fake metal crap. And Psycho Circus is like that one times worse. It's like, we got the Psycho Circus, we got the ham, and we got the cheese. If you buy the special, you can get the strawberry milkshake. It's like, fuck that shit. It is not a good song. And it should warn you that the rest of the album is shitty. But I have to tell you, believe it or not, the song within... That's a good song. The song within... You know? But it's not like a regular Kiss song. If you think that Within is a stupid-ass weird song that shouldn't be on the sound, then fuck you. You don't understand psychedelic rock. You don't understand... Shit, you're trying to think in terms of this sounding like a real Kiss album. And Peter and Ace are not on the whole thing. They are only on like one song or two songs or what the fuck ever. So you have to think of this album in terms of songs. And in terms of songs, this is a good song. Okay? Think of it as a good song in its own way. Don't fucking think of it in terms of Psycho Circus the song or um, what the fuck ever. Think of it in its own terms. It's a good song. And if you need your grandma to slap your butt, go for it. Anyway, I pledge allegiance to the state of rock and roll. I am a butt fucker. I like to lick my mama's ass. I am a fucking stupid piece of shit. I like the song and I get my head smashed. It's like, shut up. This is like, 
this is like if rock and roll all night if you hate that song which I don't I still love it this is 20 times worse this is like someone scrambling your eggs and scrambling it 20 times more and then after you ate them and vomited it back up they keep reheating it and giving it back to you that's how this song is Shut the fuck up if you think otherwise. I, I'm sick of your shit. And Into the Void. If you think that's a good ace song, you have not heard Getaway. You have not heard Parasite. You have not heard his 1978 solo album. You haven't even heard Fraley's Comet live EP. Okay? Just because it has Ace Frehley's name on it as the um, author, it doesn't mean it's a good song. It's a, it's, it's, you know, da, da, into the void, and we are the Partridge family, into the void, let's go on a trip to Mars, look at me, look at Gene, look at Paul, Look at Peter, we are a family. We are Kiss, and this is Psycho Circus. Into the void, I wanna get away into the butt of my grandma who hasn't pooped. Shut the fuck up. If the only song you like on this album is Into the Void, that's only because you are an ace nut swinger and you are not an actual listener of the fucking album. Okay? Thank you. And We Are One, that's actually a good song. Fuck you if you don't think so. I'm not saying it's a really good Kiss song, but in this case, a lot of the Kiss songs on here, like the first four... They're kind of like pseudo-serious. This is actually sincere. This is a song that even though it's kind of light and airy, it doesn't pretend to be otherwise. It's actually its own thing and it's pretty fucking good. So don't think of it in terms of a Kiss song. Think of it as though you are listening to a song that's a good song. Because remember, this isn't really a KISS album. This is a fake KISS album. So you have to understand these songs are not really KISS songs. They are songs of their own right. So you have to listen to the album as it is. Thank you, you fuckers. And then you wanted the best... I don't even want to fucking waste my time in doing a long explanation about it. It's just a stupid fucking piece of like... Okay, I'll tell you, like, the thing that I said about Into the Void, the same thing goes for here. Like, you wanted the best, you got the best. The banana splits. Fa la 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 That's... If you hear the Banana Splits theme song, and if you haven't, you're too young. And if you're too young, that means you probably like this fucking album. Listen to the Banana Splits theme song, and then fucking tell me that that's not better. Fucking shits. And then, raise your glasses. Raise your glasses, raise your glasses, we are Bon Jovi wannabes. We have no Peter or Paul, but we can still but fuck our listeners. <laughs> Shit. You know, if you raise your glass to this song... It better not be my fucking bottle of vodka or else I'll smash it in your fucking face. And then I finally found my way. Let's just say I finally found my way to the toilet and I pissed and I shit. And I 
pissed and shit a whole bunch of dead bodies and I pissed and shit a whole bunch of wood pilings and Irish peat moss and I fucking pissed and shit everything. I finally found my way to the fucking toilet, you piece of shit. I hate you. And if you want me to fuck some kind of dead dog, then all you have to do is go to the burial grounds in the Humane Society and you better dig up something for me to fuck. That would be better. And then Dreamin'. I have to say, this song is kind of like in between. It's not good, it's not bad. Yeah, Dreamin' is one of those songs It's kind of like... It kind of fucking throws me for the loop. It's not really a great song. It's not a bad song. It's like... If King of the Mountain was drunk and it wasn't quite as drunk... Yeah... I can deal with it. But I'm getting fucking tired and I'm somewhat pissed off that I had to do this review in two parts because of my fucking phone and because of the fact that, you know, whenever you do something that's passionate, that's really cool, it gets fucked up. And that's probably why I kissed to this album because they wanted to be passionate and it fucked up. So they did something fucked up in order to make sure that it worked. But anyway, the last song, Journey of a Thousand Years, is actually a pretty good song. You know, it's like, I wouldn't want you to go on a journey of a thousand years. That would be pretty bad, but... You know, I'm kind of tired now, so I don't fucking care if I sound as angry anymore. I'm just kind of glad I'm done this review. I wanted this to be done in one segment, but it wasn't. But yeah... Those Gene songs that I mentioned that I liked, those were okay. And the rest of the songs, think of it like this. Think of it like... I don't fucking care if I burp or not. Okay, I spit on you, fucking haircut. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I don't fucking care. You know... If you got Psycho Circus for 50 cents, then go shove it up your fucking butt. You know, if you like some of the songs, fine. But I don't care about your fucking review. Okay? As far as I'm concerned, go listen to what the fuck ever else. I like Carnival of Souls better. If you like... Psycho Circus better and not Carnivals of, of Souls. And shut the fuck up. Anyway, that's been my review. See you!